and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. Today is July the 9th, 2021. I am here today to do my week, um, what week are we on? Week two budget projection video. So in this video today, we are going to go through what I plan to do with my paycheck for this upcoming week. Today is a Friday. I get paid every single Friday and I budget my monies every single week. It has worked for me. And so since it is working, I'm going to continue to do it in that fashion. So for those that are new here, I would love to say welcome to my channel. And for those that are not new, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about anything related to money anything related to finances and um probably about one day a week i talk about whatever i want to talk about so that's kind of how the flow of this channel has been going and if you are interested then i would love it for you to subscribe to my channel um and if you know of someone that may need some help with budgeting then forward this video right along to them so Without further ado, we're going to jump right into this budget projection for week two of July 2021. <music> written out and we're going to go straight through them to see if this can um, shorten the video for this week all right let's dive right in as you can see here i don't have a um motivational phrase or phrases or words or hashtag because nothing really came to me this week so hey instead of forcing something or trying to you know just put something on the paper because it's routine i'm not doing that all right, so let's dive right in. The first thing that I am going to project for this week, as you can see, is the mortgage coming in at $268. Next is my security bill, $26.95. After that, we have Netflix for $15.99, the auto insurance for $73, the student loan for $100, the debt amount that I will be able to pay extra toward my mortgage this month or this week is $348. My daughter's car fund is $21. The children's lunch account is $30. Um, I'm still setting aside monies for their lunch account because I know they've been out of school for a year and a half, but eventually they will go back. I have two teenagers, a up and coming senior and a junior. So yeah, they can definitely eat and they definitely will need monies on their lunch account for school. Next, we have the children's savings account. That is $28.50, which is an auto draft that goes right into their accounts. Household expenses is $194. That is money that I do take out of the bank and I keep it in my wallet in cash and I put it in my index card system. Um, if you are interested in how my index card system works, then there is a video on my channel that talks about that. Next is the HOA fees or the homeowner um, association fees. And I'm setting aside $6.70 from this week's pay for that. Last but not least, I love to leave a cushion in this account for $26.15 for any incidentals and anything that I may want to buy and not necessarily budget for. So there's some extra money left in this account each and every week and I can do that. So we have a total of $1,138.29 for this week's expenses. Now, um, typically I leave $1,228 in this account, which you do see on the third from the la the fourth from the last line so that's where you see the subtraction coming into play 
So let's subtract the $1,228 from this week's expenses of $1,138.29. That leaves us with a total of $89.71. That is money that I will put away in my bill savings account because it is an overage, but we're doing that right here on paper. That is not going to be the end all to be all that I'm going to do with the money. So that's step one. Step two is to go back up through the expenses and I put a pink PA beside any item that I am not going to take care of this week. However, I do set that money aside out of this week's paycheck. So as you can see, I have about five PAs um, for this week's budget and that's the, the security bill, the auto insurance, the student loans, the children's lunch account and the HOA fees. Okay, that's step number two. Step number three, let's go back down to the third from the last line and we're gonna total up all of those put away amounts. So where you see the PA with the purple or with the pink circle around it, that total is a $236.65. So basically that is the amount that I will need to put away out of this week's pay for that, we're doing that right here on paper. That is not going to be the very final thing that I'm going to do with money this week. All right, now as you can see, we have two numbers with blue clouds around them. They both have a relationship. The 8971 is an amount that I need to put away in the bill savings account, and also that 236.65. So if we go down to the next to the last line, you will see where I added those two numbers together. So the 236.65 plus the 89.71 gives us a total of $326.36. That um, total gets a yellow line because you will see throughout my sheet here that there are other numbers with a yellow line under them. That means that they have a relationship. But this is the total amount that I will be putting away on paper. That's step number three. Step number four is to go back up through these expenses again. And we're going to deal with the items that I will be taking care of this week. All of those items have a purple triangle beside those. So as you can see, that's the mortgage. That's Netflix. That's the extra mortgage amount. That's my daughter's car fund children's savings account, the household expenses amount that I pull out of my checking account in cash, and then the cushion amount. So I just put a um, purple triangle by those items so that it'll let me know that, yeah, this money will be used in this upcoming week. Now, there are two items that we need to discuss further, which is the mortgage, which is the top line. Um, let's go through that. This week, which is week two, I pay my mortgage, my regular monthly payment of my mortgage every week two or out of every second paycheck that I get. I don't do it out of the first paycheck because you know typically your mortgage is due around the first, but they give you until the 15th. So on the 16th day, that is when your um, late charges accrue. But the way my numbers are set up, the way my budget is set up, I can pay it on the second week of every month. That flows perfectly fine for me. I do not accrue any late charges. So as you can see, let's go over away from the um, purple triangle. And we see that the mortgage payment every month is 804. But if I'm only setting aside $268 out of this week's pay, then that means we're going to have to find the rest of that money to help us pay for the mortgage. So that's where you see the subtraction there. So 804 minus the 268 that I'm setting aside from this week leaves us with $536. And that would be money that I will need to pull out of my bill savings account to help me satisfy that mortgage. But we're doing it right here on paper because like I said, that is not going to be the final number. All right, so let's go down to the debt amounts. So the debt amount, I will be sending an extra $348 to the mortgage this week. But also, if you all watch my last budget projection, I had to put away that $304 um, of extra debt money because I could not pay it because I hadn't paid my monthly mortgage payment. So since I'm paying the monthly mortgage payment today, now I can also include that extra $304 
that will go directly towards the principal payment in this week's payment. So that's what we're doing. So we are pulling out $304 from the bill savings account from last week. And we're doing that right here on paper. That number also gets a yellow line. So as you can see right now, if we look over the totality of this page, we will see that there are three yellow lines. That means all three of those numbers have a relationship. Okay. We have the two up top that needs to be pulled out and we have the one at the bottom that needs to be put away in the bill savings account. So remember if you need to put some money away and you need to pull some, some monies out, you need to subtract those numbers. So let's look at the very last line. All right. We have the 536 that we need to pull out of the bill savings account plus the 304 that we need to pull out of the bill savings account minus the 326.36 that we need to put away in the bill savings account. So if we do all of that adding and subtracting, your ending balance or total is going to be $513.64. That number gets a completed yellow box because that is in actuality and in reality what I'm going to do with that amount of money for this week. So that 513.64 will be the amount that I will need to pull out of the bill savings account to help me satisfy my expenses for this upcoming week. So that's, there you have it guys. That's the way I do my budget every single week. And I know it can be a little confusing because first off, I haven't got any comments in the, <laughs> And, and on any of the videos, well, barely on some videos about this budget plan. But if you have any issues with it or you don't understand it or it seems to be too complicated, shoot me an email. I can walk you through it. Believe me, it is not. It just looks like it because I'm talking about I'm moving numbers around on the paper and this and that. And, you know, I, I have some numbers that I'm putting away and then some money I'm going to use for this upcoming week. That is, I mean, but in reality, that's what anybody do, uh, does with their budget and their monies. You move some monies here or there. You save some monies. You put them in this account. You pull them out of this account if you need them to help you with your bills. So it's the same, um, same sort of process. I just tend to write it down. And now I can see it on paper and I take it step by step so that I can understand. I love organization. So that's another reason why I write my numbers down. There you have it. But that's all I have for this video. Um, like I said, please subscribe to my channel. Um, forward this video to those who may be interested in a new budget technique. And as always, um, this is Dr. Mummy Budgets, where we dream big, but start small around here. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.